Hey guys, this is TNC Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing two Moultrie cameras and uh, talking about a little bit how you can use them this off season and moving on. So the two Moultrie cameras that we're looking at today are the M888 and the A30. Both cameras have been discontinued, but Moultrie discontinues a lot of their cameras with technology advancing so fast. Uh, these cameras are just getting better and faster and cheaper. But uh, these two models here are only about one to two years old. They're fairly new models, so we will go through these two because Moultrie has the same format for most of their cameras, um, and this can help you guys figure out if you want to have a Moultrie camera in the woods. So the first camera we're looking at is the M888. Uh, with this camera, I have had this camera now for about two years. Uh, this is the first trail camera that was actually mine. Um, the first thing that I really like about this camera is the ease of use. Uh, all you have to do is just flip this switch up to quick start and a menu will pop up and then all you do is click over and you let it sit for 30 seconds and it activates. So for the most part with the M888 um, it has very good quality in my experience. Uh, daytime quality especially is very well uh, nowadays though, uh, you know, you want to get something that has very good night quality. Uh, I have tried video mode and I had a lot of nighttime movement with that and that was actually pretty impressive considering this is two years old um, and being that this camera is about a hundred dollars or it was about a hundred dollars so that's pretty low on the price range for cameras. Nowadays, uh, you know, you want a camera that you can check with your phone, all that stuff you're looking at well into the 200s, mid, mid 200s. So this was a very good starting camera. It has always done a good job for me. Uh, not many miss triggers. Uh, you know, you gotta make sure there's no brush in front of it, but that's with every camera. Otherwise you're just gonna get a bunch of garbage photos, but I've, I've liked it. Uh, you know, nighttime video, like I said, is pretty decent considering how you know, it's a two-year two-year-old camera, and you know it wasn't wasn't the highest paid-for camera on the market. So it, it's done me well. Uh, and some cons with it, I guess, would be you know compared to those higher price range cameras, this is a lower grade camera. So you're not going to get perfect images every time. You're going to get blurry photos every once in a while. If something's moving through quickly, you're not going to get the perfect photo. If the sun comes up on one side and shines right in the lens, you're going to get a lot of garbage photos for the early part of the morning. So you got to make sure that you're placing the camera in a good spot and not uh, letting it get in the way of anything that might be blowing in front of it or anything like that. But that's with most cameras. Um, but for a low price camera, this has been a very good camera to me. Moving on to the A30, I really like this camera. This is my newest camera. Um, I used it for one season so far and I was pretty impressed with the results. Uh, it captured everything that was supposed to go by. I had a couple nice pictures of some bucks on there. Um, you know, it's worked good in the cold, works, works good overall, has good quality image. Um, this is again another lower priced camera. This isn't your high high-end camera, so for Moultrie low-end cameras though, uh, this has been very good to me. So that's it for this episode. Uh, this is a little bit about the Moultrie cameras, so thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.